all right welcome back to the channel man listen i'm so excited and there's a couple of things i'm gonna talk to you guys about within this video i actually just got off work i was supposed to um be doing a arcade stick review because this week that's what the whole thing was arcade stick reviews i just got off work got myself comfortable so we're not going to be doing that obviously as you can see from the title i got the c2 oled um we're going to be doing unboxing and everything this weekend so i probably shoot for that to be sunday maybe monday might hit you with some sunday night uh, the interesting thing is this week last year saturday i purchased the c1 77 inch this tv right here um it's been an amazing tv uh it's without an evo panel which is the only opportunity that most of your purists or enthusiasts like myself would say that it's lacking, but it's not enough for me to remove this because I've watched this TV a lot. Like this is my main, my main driver right here. Um, and it's been, it's been really good for me. It's been really good to me right now because the C2 isn't showing that it's out for you to get to your house this is still the best gaming opportunity um that i'd recommend so if you happen to see this if you're on the fence about do you get the c2 do you get the c1 um you get the c2 i'm going to tell you just like i said last year you get the c2 in the same way that you would have gotten the g1 last year if you can't control the light in your room, in your area, so if you just show them this window right here, when I initially did all the videos and the unboxings last year, you can thumb through the videos if you're new to the channel seeing this. Um, I had this window tinted. So I put tint on this window, like open the blinds, we tinted it completely, blacked it out. I couldn't really black out this piece um, because if it's daylight, you know, light's still gonna come through there. But I had the TV in front of it. So I got the TV on a complete opposite wall that it was on. There's no other light in here other than this. I mean, I have a lamp in here, but it's it's pretty much controlled light. And that's really what you wanted. If you live in a situ situation or scenario where you have a lot of windows, like a ton of windows and things like that, where, you know, just you, you can't really control the light. You want that C2. Trust me. Get that C2. And it's the same reason I would told anybody to get the G1 um, last year. But if you are not really tripping about those things, man, that C1 is going to be affordable. It's going to start breaking them prices. The prices have been low on them. That's why I got so many of C1s. I bought three C1s. Um, one last year, the 77 and two 48s this year. Um, you can thumb through the videos. I'll card something in for you to be able to see that. It's an amazing TV. But um, the C2 is going to offer me that Evo panel. Essentially, you can't get that until you get 55 inch. Now, I'm not doing any cheat codes or anything, so I haven't watched unboxings and reviews. I like to be fresh off the dome. So anything that you see on my channel, if it's some ignorance, you know, something I don't know that I'm saying wrong, um, we'll revisit it. But yeah, the 55 inch, the 65 inch, the 77 inch, that uh, 83 inch gives you the Evo panel with the uh, C2. So. In my application, I'll be having it set on my desk. Uh, right now, I have an IKEA desk with a um, with a desk mount for the 48 inch C1. 48 inch C2 was not an option for me to buy. The 42 is not out yet. It's just not even a skewable product that I can even look at. It's just like a myth. Like it's going to be coming down a pipeline. I have seen briefly. I try not to watch this stuff, but you know when you're just looking on Google. Google algorithm just kind of tracks everything that you look at and because I'm always talking about TVs and YouTube is Google. I think it's just showing me TV shit. So, it, you know, I've seen some Reddit posts where it was saying something about the pixels being so small or the screen or something with the C2 where it's not as bright as like the 48 inch. So um, as soon as I got the 48 inch C1, I, I just knew that the, C, the, the 42 inch wasn't going to be for me. It may be for some people, but that TV is not for me. Um, and looking at the 48 inch, I'm like, yeah, I want to play around with the 55, right? So I'm going to have to rework my game room to make that fit, fix that out because I got two desks. So I'm going to have to kind of like create an L shape. I'm kind of babbling all over the place, but I'm really excited, really tired. Um, but 
yeah, what you guys think about that. Um, on the flip side, too, I also, you guys know, if you're following the channel, I got a record player, um, or, or yeah, record player, vinyl player, whatever you want to call it. Got that guy set up there. Um, that's been pretty, pretty dope. It's been a really nice hobby. Um, my collection is really going to be like getting gaming soundtracks. It's like I want to get content that I know I'm going to listen to. So since getting my first vinyls, I did post that video a couple of weeks ago. I have picked up Tech and Tech Tournament 1. This was actually a really good option because this soundtrack is pretty definitive. It actually offers you the arcade soundtrack, which love, right? Love it. Um, but it gives you the PlayStation 2. And so um, the soundtrack for the PlayStation 2 of the Tech and Tech Tournament 1 was really good, actually. It was, it was really good. There's, there's a lot of times when you listen to like console music when they change and they don't directly rip the arcade, the music doesn't sound as good, but it actually does sound really good. So this is a package that I actually do really like. Um, I've already opened it up and listened to the tunes that I like, but it's even designed really well. So I'm happy I got this. Um, got Ghost. Haven't opened this one up yet. I haven't even played this game. So I found this at a pretty good price. I think I got it for like 30 bucks. My idea is if I like the music, then I will consider playing the game. Right now I have like a big catalog of game and I got to get to gaming on the gaming channel. It's going to start. Believe it or not, I've been waiting for the C2. So in the description of this video, please go subscribe to my gaming channel. I'm trying to get 200 subscribers. That would really make me happy. Um, but yeah, now that I got the C2, once I get it set up, I'll start gaming and we'll, we'll get content going on there. I got this one today, Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat. Man, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm actually going to crack this open tonight and I'm going to listen to a couple of tracks on this. Um, some of my favorite tracks. Hmm. Actually, man, Mortal Kombat 2, the whole soundtrack slap, but my favorite is probably between the Armory or the Deadpool, right? So very nice there and then i got this one yesterday it was yesterday final fantasy came in the mail final fantasy 7 this one i love it um and i'm really happy that this isn't like the entire soundtrack which this is the vinyl that goes to show me how expensive this hobby is because this thing goes for like 100 and 140 bucks 130 dollars and there's not a lot of music on this. Let me tell you, there's not a lot of music. But the vinyl was done so cool. Like, you've got A, a side, B side, C side, D side. And then, like, one side has, like, new Sephiroth. The other side has, like, new Cloud. Like, when you flip this, the other side is Cloud. And on this side, with, all right, and so one side actually has the original, right? So you got the old Sephiroth and the old Cloud. So just to give you another look at that, at the, this side of it, it's the same thing in reverse. You got the new Sephiroth and then you flip it and it's the new cloud. I guess I'll show it since I got this pulled here. So, so dope, man. Pretty awesome. So this has been a fun hobby. Um, I've been enjoying this. I still can't, <laughs> I can't change the songs, man. Like, I, I don't know, man. It's. It's just it's something within me like I have to take the time to actually do it. But the reason that I got into this hobby, I, I, I wasn't really caring about changing tracks. When I buy an album, I'm like, I want to actually listen to it. And so this this collection right here has um, it has, like I said, it's not the full album, but it's got four, eight. Yeah, I mean, it's 20 tracks total, right? 20 tracks. Nice, nice um, decor to it. Um, you're paying about 120 bucks for this. So yeah, this, this, is a, this is a pricey, <laughs> a hobby. And I had people that were telling me that, but like, like I said, this is my first vinyl that, that really tells me that, yeah, this can get, this can get expensive. And for me, it's all gaming stuff, right? So it's all gaming stuff. And this is exactly what I wanted. Like I'm not buying any rap albums or anything like that right now. I might pick up some jazz stuff because jazz is like my favorite genre of music, to be honest with you. But the gaming soundtracks is good for me because when I listen to them, it'll take me back to whenever the time was when I was playing. Um, so that's pretty dope. So, again, I wanted to make a video just kind of 
you know, showing that I'm happy. So expect a lot of content with the C2 coming. A lot of content. Like, there's going to be a lot of content, man. So unboxing. Um, I'm not looking to do like the C1, C2 comparisons. But, you know, I'll do my discussional videos the way that I've done them. The setup and all of that stuff. It'll be from my perspective. I know that like everybody's going to be flooding the, the website with this stuff. You're going to have all the big professionals. They've already got their stuff out there because they got the early samples and stuff. But, you know, for the regular guys like us, this is definitely a win. You know what I'm saying? I went and bossed up, got mine today. It was good, man. So are you planning on getting a C2? You got a C1, you got a CX, you got a C9. You know, I'm, I'm, we can go all the way to the beginning. You know what I'm saying? With this thing, man. I've been heavyweight with this for a minute. So. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Sorry I didn't get you the RK stick unboxing today. I was excited about this TV, so I was just like, I'm going to just talk to y'all today. And uh, we'll resume that. I'll make sure you get that upload sometime next week. This TV is going gonna, gonna to flood the channel. It's, it's just going to be a lot of TV content. But on the gaming side of things, yeah, we got some stuff coming too. So I appreciate the support. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. As I always say, Max Love.